What is the best navigation to use? As we all know, this is all subjective to the individual, and all I can really do is give my personal opinion. Yeah, man, we're covering a lot of ground, a lot of pretty quickly. On a truck, this would take I don't know how long, but holy shit, look at that view, man. But I have used many navigation systems to explore trails around Colorado and Utah. But out of all of them, this one is incredibly unique. It is called Onyx. So let's go to the beginning. So this is the Onyx off-road app. It's by far one of my favorite applications. This thing is just amazing. And, of all, and believe me, I have used tons and tons of different navigations. But I've also used, I have about three or four different type of Garmin's GPS as well that I started using back in like 2005. And, and by far, this is why it's so unique. Everything is highlighted for you. It tells you all the trails. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, just so I can demonstrate like, all, so all these green things, all these highlighted green areas, these are all trails. So it gives you an idea of how much trails are out there. But now the best thing about Onyx, so if you see these little blue highlights, these are like featured trails. So if you click on the featured trails, it gives you a difficulty rating. So this one's difficulty, uh, it's rated for six out of 10, but keep in mind the six out of 10 is labeled class six Jeep trail rating. Click over here and you have different pictures and stuff like that. Here's a razor. Actually, I've been on this trail. I think this is Italian Creek. I didn't even pay attention. So it kind of gives you different pictures of from different customers and stuff like that has five pictures for now it tells you information about the trail as well the history as well which is which is awesome you know oh well, yeah so this is italian creek i actually did italian creek uh not too long ago and look at all the waypoints now you might say wow all these waypoints that is nuts well it's very easy so if you go under my content in the bottom so if you go under my content right over here you can filter it out I i'm pretty sure they plan on updating a lot of stuff maybe adding some extra folders and stuff because i have a lot of things as well that shows all the different types of uh you know the camping and all that stuff so you can filter it to just location or parking say you found something you know a cave or something like that or you want to find all the fishing spots so you highlighted all the fishing spots. i just want to know where do i feel like fishing tomorrow so you just hit filter and guess what of course i didn't mark that much but of course you only filter out the fishing areas there are some some locations that i give out off of single track and I'm going to give that information because I plan on launching a little small business, so stay tuned by the way, because I am going to give some detailed results, detailed videos of the single tracks and stuff like that. I plan on starting a my Patreon for little perks, you know, here and there, so. And by the way, check out the link at the bottom. If you check the link out on the bottom, it helps me out a little bit, you know, this is a yearly subs subscription. And yeah, I get a little bit of commission off of this, so if you guys just help me out, click that link it definitely helps my channel out quite a bit so I can go ahead and test out more bikes explore more trails go out further and I love exploring I'm very curious I'm constantly on my free time seeing where can I possibly go next of course not everything is updated you know a lot of stuff is not updated so this is all BLM land right here and you know over time they will update it and based on the users and stuff like that they'll submit their trails and all that stuff but this is actually it tells you like all the BLM trails as well I don't know if you saw that over here let me zoom into it again right over here this is blm road 75827a near uh, south dakota bam look at all those dirt roads all those trails all the little fishing spots too it gives you like little fishing spots as well so it's super super easy to start you know you hit your tracker right over here i started it you stop and bam that's it so over here you you can set up your track name it whatever you want you don't have to display all the tracks that you did but i like show displaying all the tracks that i've done and leaving it permanently on the map mostly because i like to see where i've been and what i have not explored by the way there's still a bunch of stuff like i've written all of this right over here this is from my other map and to download Download maps you know all you got to do is just select where you want so all these little red squares so these red squares if I'm not mistaken that's probably from my other navigation saying hey you haven't downloaded this area 
on this phone so go ahead and if you want to download it I'm telling you this place is awesome you can it even has like the discover nearby trails it tells you everything about it but my favorite thing about Onyx without a doubt is its customer service and they're always updating it they're constantly adding brand new trails and the fact that you have to pay a monthly subscription I know a lot of people are like oh man that sucks you know I don't want to pay a monthly subscription Believe me guys, it is worth it. Not only does it save on the cloud, so all these tracks are saved on the cloud. Not only that, but you can view online, you can plan your trip, you can plan your route, you save it, it could be on any device. I don't know, say, say you dirt bike by yourself, right? And now all of a sudden like, oh man, you know, I kind of want a bigger tablet on my, say you have a side-by-side -side or even a Jeep yourself and you have a tablet. Now you don't have to transfer between devices. This is already on your other devices. So now you just leave, let's say you just use this phone for dirt bikes, you set it up. And once you set that up, that's it. You don't have to move it to another device or anything like that. So you get back on your Jeep or your side-by-side, -side, whatever, you, whatever you're into, you know? Set up your tablet, bam, it's already loaded for you. All your waypoints, you can filter it the same way. Your, my, your contents is all there. You know, you got all your waypoints, all your tracks. You know, and then of course I, I don't label my tracks. I do mine how I want to, you know, it's what's what's necessity for me. So go ahead and just hit that link in the bottom. That link to the bottom will send you to the uh, subscription page and you can sign up there and you can start your, your subscription. I believe with that you can, you start, uh, I think it's a week or two week free trial. And if you don't like it, you know, you don't even have to continue on. You can cancel it, no questions asked. Super easy to cancel, not a big deal. You see, nature is all around us, and exploring is in our blood. That is why we get into this addiction, this curse that is brought to us on two wheels. Rocks, rivers, trees, the landscape, the mountains, it's all around us and Onyx sheds a light on these areas. You see, constantly I daydream where this dirt road leads. What does it look like? What obstacles does it have? Onyx is unique in the fact that everything is highlighted for you. It tells you where to go. It shows you what you have not explored and has featured trails that has pictures and even difficulty ratings if you choose to do a solo adventure. 